walk this earth like a god. You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? what Kicking what, in what? the door, I make the bitches hit the floor for keys. Yeah. Travis got it here, and I'm back with some more boxing. Anthony Joshua is actually interested in facing Vladimir Klitschko. He called him out. And Eddie Hearn is willing to make the fight. They reached out to Klitschko. And we might get to see that fight, but I'm not sure, man, because Klitschko ain't said nothing. This has been going on for like a few days now. I've seen a tweet from Eddie Hearn saying, um, you know, we take Klitschko if you don't have an opponent. I haven't heard anything from Vladimir Klitschko about this, if he's interested in taking that fight. I know... Uh, he really got to focus on this this Tyson Fury shit that he got going on, man. It's real fucked up, you know? I mean, you had a rematch clause. You lost, you know, but you had the rematch clause. And normally, we always see the guy getting their rematch. And I'm pretty sure Vladimir thought that he was going to get his rematch, too. Didn't work out like that. Tyson Fury is so fucked up in the head, man. Fucked up all the way around. I believe he has, uh, you know drug problems that he's dealing with he has admitted to them as well he don't give a fuck you know talk about using cocaine and shit and, and taking some kind of injection to put you to sleep after being so amped up on cocaine it's ridiculous he said that you know on top of like drinking beer and shit even like when he was leading up to the the first klitschko fight he was drinking beer i mean this dude is is fucked up you know, he even admitted that he was mentally deranged or something like that, like years ago. And he's suicidal. And his wife was saying like, yeah, you know, I don't know what's wrong with him. You know, we could be like having a good time and everything is just fine. And he will start saying like, I don't want to live anymore. And she even said that a couple times she she get frustrated with him. You know, that's kind of how it is. You know, somebody like we everything is fine or appears to be fine. And person just down. She said, I told him, just do it. You don't kill yourself. Just do it. Not that she really want him to. It's just like, what the fuck is your problem? She know he's not going to do it. It's just like, shut the fuck up pretty much, man. But Anthony Joshua was willing to take the fight with Vladimir Klitschko. You know, I don't know if Vladimir Klitschko is willing to take that fight, to be honest. You know, like I said, man, you know, I haven't heard shit from Vladimir Klitschko about being willing to fight Anthony Joshua. You know what? I think that um, Anthony Joshua deserves some credit for being willing to make that fight because, you know, he's still, he only got 17 pro fights. He's a world champion. And uh, he do appear to have some skills, man. But, you know, that's a dangerous fight for him. You know, even though Vladimir Klitschko is up there in age, what is he, like 39, 40 or something like that, he's still a great fighter. He could have just had an off night against Tyson Fury and, and might even knock him out in a rematch but we never gonna get to see it and you know um most likely tyson fury is gonna end up getting stripped of those titles i mean it's not only because of vladimir klitschko i mean he's holding up these organizations like like it's mandatories that can't even get a shot at the title because of tyson fury and his bullshit and then on top of that they got the rematch clause so the mandatories not only got to wait for their shot they got to wait for vladimir klitschko to get their shot it's all because of tyson fury man it's almost been 12 months since that fight still ain't got the rematch it's, it's ridiculous man you know i was hoping that they would just hurry up and get the rematch out the way i mean it's i don't even know why the fuck tyson fury signed the rematch clause in the first place he was a mandatory he didn't have to do that. It's retarded. But he did. So I was just like, man, you know, I kind of wish that they got the rematch out the way like three or four months after the first fight. Just get that shit out the way and over with. Because I felt like Tyson Fury would have beat him again anyways. That's the way I felt. Just by judge looking at the first fight, Tyson Fury is the taller guy, probably the longer reach too. He was able to stay on the outside and Vladimir Klitschko wasn't able to use his height you know, and his reach against these opponents or even his body weight, you know, pushing down on these guys. Like he couldn't do that to Tyson Fury. He wasn't, he was the smaller guy, but he's so used to being a bigger guy. He was kind of trying to do that bully shit, but he, he couldn't. So, you know, he's just lost in there, man. You know, uh, he just couldn't, he couldn't find a way to get in on Tyson Fury. He had some success later into the fight. I think it was like maybe the 11th or 12th round he came on maybe the 12th 
But, you know, it was a little bit too late. But, you know, I kind of felt like Fury would beat him again, man. And uh, Anthony Joshua was willing to fight him. Who knows, man? Vladimir Klitschko might have came into that Fury rematch motivated as hell. Maybe even knocked out Tyson Fury. So, you know, hey, he's been a champion for a long time, and he's going to want those belts back. But... And, and that's why I'm saying, like, this is a dangerous fight for Anthony Joshua to take. You know, uh, Vladimir Klitschko could possibly go in there and outbox the fuck out of Anthony Joshua. He's still kind of green, right? Like, even, you know, he got a couple good wins on his record, but with 17 pro fights, it's only so much that we can say about him. But he's passed every test with flying colors so far. Yeah, he got wobbled against Dylan White, but... He still knocked Dylan White the fuck out. You know, through the ropes and shit. Had the motherfucker slumped. But, you know, shout out to Anthony Joshua being willing to take that fight. Now, Eddie Hearn released a statement about this, and he said, The whole thing is a complete mess. From our side, if Vladimir Klitschko against Anthony Joshua can be made for the WBA and the IBF belts for November 26th, we are taking that fight. No question. They want it to be a unification bout so Anthony Joshua can get another belt now. But Tyson Fury is going to have to get stripped first, and that could take some time. I don't know. He was saying that, um, you know, Tyson Fury is probably going to be making a releasing a statement, you know, um, sometime within the next week or maybe even this week of how long he's going to be out of action. But, you know, it's kind of hard to say. Tyson Fury has been fucked up in the head for years. You know, and then I'm hearing like that he was going and trying to train, but he couldn't do it. He couldn't motivate himself. I hope he enjoyed those five million pounds that he got for that fight. You know, you rich, man, but damn, you ain't even have to win the fight. You ain't even have to fucking train, like go in there and fight the motherfucker and lose. Get knocked out. Who gives a fuck? Get your five million pounds. That's, it just don't make sense. Nothing Tyson Fury does makes sense and like you you holding up the, the heavyweight division now you know the mandatories can't get their shot because vladimir can't get a shot it's ridiculous man just like just vacate them if you don't want to fight you can't find the motivation to fight then just give up the belts what are you holding on to him for he might have ended up getting stripped anyways because they're talking about he failed a drug test before the first klitschko fight he denying it but shit they saying that you failed how could you argue with it that was a drug testing agency. I mean, he came back and tried to sue him. I don't know, man. Uh, shit. If you did it, you did it. You can sue him and try to make it look good in the media all you want, but you're going to lose. They got the evidence. How could you prove that they did something wrong or that they was cheating you or something? But, you know, y'all know how Tyson Fury is, man. So we might not ever see Tyson Fury fight again. And, you know, some some people were saying that in the, in the media. He was saying that we might not ever see him back in the ring. You know, um, he had his moment. He might feel like, hey, it can't get no more bigger than what it is. Hey, it was. You know, um, I dreamed of becoming a heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet. And I did that. You know, he had he had something to be motivated for going into that first fight. But, you know, to go back, now you're the champion, the defending champion. There's a lot of pressure on you now, too. Before, you know, you was trying to prove people wrong. Now, it's like, we expect you to do this now. And then this is like, I done beat him already. I achieved my goal. You know, I want to be the heavyweight champion. I ain't really give a fuck about defending the titles. He was saying the same type of shit. Well, he ain't even saying it right now, but it looks his actions look like he might not ever fight again anyways. But he was saying, you know, I might retire after I fight him, whether I win or lose. He won. Look at him. 12 months later, <laughs> Vladimir is waiting and Mandatories is waiting too. But Anthony Joshua is willing to step up and fight Vladimir Klitschko. Now, you know, Vladimir Klitschko might duck Anthony Joshua to keep it real with you, man, because... You know, Vladimir Klitschko got knocked out three times. Anthony Joshua hit hard than a motherfucker. And he's the same height as Vladimir Klitschko. And he has a one-inch reach advantage, but that's pretty close. But Vladimir Klitschko is used to being like three or four inches taller than his opponents with probably like a six, seven-inch reach advantage. 
you know, let alone how big and strong that motherfucker is. You know, I, I think that Vladimir Klitschko know better than to take that fight. He never was one to duck before in the past. And Anthony Joshua do got one of his belts. So maybe, but I don't know, man. Because he, he signed a five-fight deal, uh, like a TV deal, right before the Tyson Fury fight. He lost the fight, but he still got like four more fights left. He's been planning. He's going to keep fighting. He don't give a fuck how old he is. You know, he's still good at it. Yeah, he lost the fight, but shit, he could have just had an off night and he'd come back stronger than ever. But he don't plan on retiring no time soon. So I'm, I'm kind of interested to see how this shit play out. Because if he take that fight, you know, I'm going to be counting on him to get knocked out. I'm, I'm thinking, like, most likely his career might be ended. He's going to get, he gonna get knocked the fuck out. I'm almost sure of it. Like, what are you going to do? I don't know, man. But, you know, Vladimir Klitschko got like a strong ass fucking jab and a straight right hand. Because you're going to have to land that motherfucker, man. Both of y'all going to have the same reach. It ain't like, you know, you, you're going to be jabbing a motherfucker that's way shorter than you and shit. So that's going to be interesting to see how it play out. And then, you know, Anthony Joshua, young as hell. You know, and um, Vladimir Klitschko is old as hell. So, like, AJ got youth on his side, too, and power. Ain't no way in hell you could tell me Vladimir Klitschko is, is the more powerful fighter. So, you know, it's going to be an interesting fight if it happens, man. But, uh... We got to see. We got to see if Vladimir Klitschko is going to be willing to take that fight. It's not a sure thing. And, you know, Eddie Hearn was saying that, you know, um, he hopes that Tyson Fury doesn't get stripped because they really expected Tyson Fury to fight Vladimir Klitschko and defeat him again. And then they wanted to make the fight with Tyson Fury because it would be two Brits going at it. Whatever the fuck that means. I'm American. But two Brits. Motherfuckers from Britain, I guess. Excuse me, I'm a yank. Whatever y'all call it. Wankers and shit. I'm one of them motherfuckers. But if these two fight, man, you know, uh, I'm, I'll am i be looking forward to Anthony Joshua knocking Klitschko the fuck out and ending his career. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxing. Subscribe. I got a good fucking with you. I got a good fucking with you.